Hi guys, it's Ben from Heirloom Pianos. Uh, today we're coming at you with an interesting piano action mechanism. Now this is from a Bluthner 19th century grand piano. And this is what we call a Bluthner patent action. Now the reason I've actually got this in the workshop is that there's a couple of notes that are sticking and I suspect that it has to do with some interference and these two keys actually rubbing together, so should be a fairly easy fix. However, with the Bluthner patient mechanism, it's a much more complex procedure to remove the stack, which is this here. Now, over here, I have a new Yamaha stack. As you can see, there's four screws either side that come off and that whole thing will lift straight off. However, with this instrument here, We've got two of these screws either side, all of these little screws here. And then once you've done all of that, you have to remove every single one of these springs and that should get the action to lift off. So we'll do that now. So that took a good uh, 10 minutes. Um, might be an interesting opportunity to have a look at this. So this was an action that I believe was patented by Bluthner at the end of the 19th century. Um, it was very popular with um, their instruments from the point of view that it had a number of uh, advantages from the perspective of it being slightly simple or simpler than your double escapement mechanism. Um, it's interesting to note, so these are the keys here, and they actually have essentially a um, weapon attached to them. So each one of these keys has a jack mechanism, which is actuated by a little button underneath here. So that's basically what actuates the set off, and there's a little jack connector here which lifts up or a little, uh, I guess you could almost call it a sticker that lifts up the hammers and they are connected into the keys through this little piece of steel here that is inserted here. Now we pulled out the errant key and discovered the problem. It's actually not that the keys are sticky, it's that uh, the lead weight has swollen. So it's a very common issue with older pianos. T traditionally what happens is the lead weight uh, becomes uh, oxidized and usually there's impurities in the lead that causes that issue. So what we'll do is, this is interesting that it's not drilled all the way through, but we'll drill this one through and we'll put a new lead through in there to uh, make sure this doesn't create any issues again. Alrighty, success. So we've installed a new lead. Uh, so the way that we did that was literally just drill it out on the drill press and then install one of these. Um, I've got plenty of these. These are actually Yamaha leads, but fortunately lead is lead. And the thing that we do on top of that is just put a little layer of super glue on top of it once it's been um, installed, just to basically work as a sort of uh, layer between the lead and the uh, potential sort of surface moisture and just to sort of prevent any sort of expansion in the future. So we'll install it back and do the reinstallation of the stack. took way longer than I thought it was going to be. So the reason that was such a time-consuming uh, process is that to disconnect each one of these you have to first unhitch this spring which just comes out like that and then lift this out. So there's a little hole there that you can see that uh, 
sticker lifts into. And then obviously, as you saw before, to put it back on is a little bit more complex because this string, spring can get in the way. So you have to grab this by a pliers or a set of pliers and then subsequently install it into the hole. Now the key will not actually return back unless pressed and my guess is because the jack or the equivalent of the jack is currently raised then it will lift back and then this little spring here has to be re-engaged which you can see is fairly easy but it's not impossible for this spring to get on the other side and then you have to pull it out and do that. So with 80 five keys or 88 keys in this case it's certainly very time consuming. Another one of the reasons that this is a much more complex installation is that on a Yamaha this stack is separate from the keys and the key assembly so if we were to lift this stack up you'll see here that the weapons have little felt knuckles on them and then those are actuated by keys that move like this and the capstan engages on the bottom of that. So overall a very interesting system from the 19th century but understandably it was never one that became massively popular outside of Luthner. Um, something to bear in mind if you're a tech planning to do some restoration on one of these it is a little bit more time consuming and if you're planning to uh, have your Bluthner restored, it's certainly worth keeping in mind that uh, they're not the easiest things to work on and there may be some more associated charges with that. So thank you for watching, we'll see you next time.